Hi, this is Michael Pfeiffer. This is another episode of the Metal Conversations podcast. So this podcast is going to be a little bit different than previous ones. In in previous ones, I was focusing more on engineering. This one is going to be more about behaviors. And it's all, and and the discussion comes from the lessons I I learned from boxing. So about a year ago, um, I I started taking up boxing. Um, I'd always wanted to learn it, and I found a place near my house that, that offers boxing. Um, so I've been taking both classes and, and private lessons occasionally with the teacher. And the teacher is a, um, he's a boxer. He's also an MMA fighter. To say the least, the, learning this, uh, this new skill, this new sport has been extremely challenging. Um, having the learning, I've had, had to learn how to throw the, the different punch, punches properly, how to move, how to protect myself. And also there's a, during the class, we do sparring. It's light sparring, but nevertheless, it's, um, one person standing up against another person and trying to hit the other person. We're not trying to hurt each other, but we are trying to, to hit each other. And, um, that, that's, um, that, that can be intimidating. In addition to the physical aspects of boxing and having to learn all those things, there are also mental aspects just like in any other sport. And it takes time to learn those different mental aspects for some, for boxing. Some of the mental aspects are keeping composure, being mentally engaged at all times, not anticipating my opponent's actions, and staying relaxed. During a recent uh, lesson with with the teacher, we discussed another mental aspect that I want to talk about today. And that mental aspect is doing things with a purpose, being purposeful, not just throwing punches randomly um, or moving around randomly and hoping that, that things work out. I mean, it doesn't work that way. And to be purposeful with throwing the punches and not that not every punch has to be trying to get a knockout punch. In fact, most punches aren't. And using punches and, and moving around to try to get the, my opponent to do certain things that put me in a position to, to be able to win or to be able to, to land some punches. That was really a, a, a big thing to me is you know, being purposeful and thinking about the things I'm doing when, when sparring against someone. And I realized that, that this actually applies to life, um, that it's, that we really should be doing things, everything with a purpose, whatever it is I'm, I'm doing. Um, now with my life, you know, as, as an engineer I've, and, well, and, and doing a lot of other things I do in my life, I've been doing a lot of things, you know, I, I choose to do them and there's reasons why to do them. I, I don't think about, I didn't think about the purpose and it, a lot of the purpose has been automatically, but sometimes in the, in, in doing a particular task within something like within the boxing or within the other things I do, playing violin or being an engineer, sometimes there are tasks I'm working on where I'm not thinking about what's the purpose of doing this, this individual task. And what are the benefits going to be from completing this task? Or how do I have to go about working on this task or working on this particular skill? How do I have to go about it in a way that's going to get me from, that's going to help me make improvements? Or when I'm working on an engineering project, how do I have to go about a certain task in order to make sure that I'm going to get the information I need to help my client out? So, but I hadn't really been putting the, the words on it um, and, and putting the words on it, being purposeful as more meaning and understanding has really made me think about more uh, to apply more thought on a daily basis to the things I'm doing. What is the purpose of this, of the particular act that I'm working on or the particular project or some new endeavor that I'm, I'm taking on? And not everything has to be deep and meaningful either. Um, you know, if I'm hungry, then I'm going to go fix myself something to eat. Um, if I want peace and quiet, I'll go for a walk in the woods. Or if I want to relax, or if any person wants to relax, you can go watch a movie, go fishing, read a book, you know, something like that. So not everything has to be deep and meaningful. At work, especially for new engineers, I think being purposeful is really important because it's important to understand the purpose of what you're doing, what you're working on, why you're working on it, and then the individual tasks. How does the individual task or the individual project fit in with the bigger th- thing that's going on at, um, um, that you're working on at, at the business? 
for, for new engineers and younger engineers, it's helpful and important to talk with your manager and coworkers about your projects and the tasks you're working on to understand their purpose. Is there, is there a purpose? Is it a productive purpose? And does it make sense from an engineering and business perspective? And then to get, and then when you're struggling with something, um, whether it's understanding our concept or a, the steps to take to get data or information or how to run a test, Think about whether your actions to, to get that understanding of the concepts or the, your actions about the steps to take to get data or your actions to figure out how to run a test, whether those actions really are purposeful. If, it's, if you're just muddling around without getting anywhere or gaining information, then it may make sense to take a step back and ask what must be done to get to where you want to be. Perhaps you have to have a talk with your manager or someone else with more experience in that area, or look for answers in books, or take a course on that subject. And, and again, muddling around without gaining knowledge is not purposeful. And it can be frustrating too, especially at the end of the day, you think, wow, I really haven't gotten anywhere. I haven't gained anything from this experience. And that can be very frustrating. It's important to recognize that and to get outside help. We can't expect that any one of us is going to know how to do everything. It's even more problematic when you're just starting out as an engineer and there's so much to learn. And it's, it's important not to just muddle around and, and get and stay stuck. And, it's, it, and, and sometimes it can be a great experience to go and talk to someone and get their input. For those of you who think that you're imposing, you shouldn't, you should put that aside. Most Decent people, and most people are decent, <laughs> want to help others. They don't want others to, to struggle, and it makes them feel good to help someone out. Of course, you should you know, let them know ahead of time that you, you want to have a discussion about something, but they want to help out. And sometimes their answer may be, well, you know, you need to go and read a certain book on something or take a class. Or they may recommend some more exploration but at least we'll give you some direction as to the exploration to do. But lean on the people who've got the experience and expertise in your organization. They can be a huge help. And when you want a promotion or to be able to work on certain types of projects or to change jobs, learn what's required and then take the steps needed to do those things. Then gain the experience and gain the knowledge needed to get the promotion or be able to work on the special projects. Don't uh, you, you shouldn't assume that just doing the same thing every day and just keeping and going forward on your um, on your job that that alone is going to help you get to where you want to be. You should have a discussion with someone about that, and then they they should help you understand what you need to do in order to get to where you want to be. The second thing to think about with being purposeful is with behaviors. Um, when I was a lot younger, a lot younger engineer. I was pretty good at picking projects and, and made a point to understand the reason for projects I was, I was given. That's just part of my, my personality. I needed to understand why for everything. Um, I guess maybe that can be kind of annoying, but I think in the end, it's, it's still, for me, it's really important to understand what's, what am I, why am I doing what I'm doing? But I can't say I was deliberately purposeful, um, even though, even so, I was able to have a positive impact on the business. But looking back on my behaviors, I can say that I was definitely not purposeful. And in fact, I would go as far as to say that sometimes I was, I was thoughtless. Mainly, there were times I didn't take things as seriously as others did. I'm sure that that, that did not leave a positive impact on some of the people I worked with. We don't always, we can't always understand what motivates other people and why certain things might be important to them and less important to us, that's really not relevant. If, if it's clear that certain things are important to other people and, and to, and, and in fact, when it's, when it's clear that it's important to a lot of people within an organization, then it's important for, for everyone to, to take it seriously. And I, I wish I had taken things a little more seriously. And one of the things that I realized since starting my own business and working with clients is that it's important to keep in mind that even in a company, individual engineers still have internal customers and clients, people who depend on us for input, information, and getting things done. And 
people look to the individual engineers to to do their part and in order to to contribute to the organization. So it's important to, to recognize that we also have internal customers within within a company and that it's important to to take care of those relationships and and let people understand that we were respectful of those relationships. So those are my lessons from boxing. So that's my lesson from boxing. I plan on being more purposeful with boxing, to enjoy it more, to avoid getting hit, and to hit the other person more. And I plan on using it to with my engineering projects and with the other things, my other hobbies, other things I do in my life, to avoid muddling through things, to enjoy them more, and to not feel frustrated when I'm not uh, getting somewhere. I'll be able to recognize when something is, when I'm not being purposeful and take a step back and figure out what I need to do to, to get to where I want to be. So that's it for this, this uh, podcast. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. My email address is mike at imetllc.com. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Metal Conversations podcast series to receive alerts for when new podcasts are released. You can subscribe on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and other outlets. And that's it. So good luck with your medals. Bye.